Jewel has, mm -hmm. has, uh, has spoken very eloquently on, on the, the trust of the build and uh, I do I commend um, Senator uh, Malcolm for bringing this forward um, and you know I have sympathy too and agree with the, t the intention and trust of the bill which I see as all persons should be able to live in their homes at peace and without fear of abuse attack and harassment and you know some people have talked about you know uh, our, us politicians as if we're some sort of precious beings you know within these houses but you know we have county councillors throughout this country that are uh, also having their homes attacked and I'm thinking of uh, Councillor Vincent Jackson in, in uh, Dublin and um, protesters turned up at his house uh, a couple of weeks ago um, and he wasn't at home at the time and he actually is a foster parent. Uh, on top of being a parent himself, he's a foster parent. So you can imagine the, the vulnerability of those children within those four walls on that particular night. So people have to think about the consequences when you do turn up to, you just don't know whether the, that politician could be looking after an elderly parent or a child with disabilities. So, you know, people just need to think carefully when you do turn up to a, a person's home. And then we had Councillor Eugene McGuinness in uh, Kilkenny and he had his car and uh, uh, attacked and his windows broken there last week as well. So these are very serious instances where people think they can turn up to, to politicians' home, homes and uh, cause damage. Um, I do believe that there's CCTV uh, footage in relation to the, the second incident. I certainly hope that the Gardaí do uh, apprehend and charge the, those individuals that cause that, um, cause that um, crime. So, uh, you know, this bill, of course, does not do what it intends to do. Section 2, which is, it outlines the offences, prohibits targeted process within 200 metres of any residential dwelling, rather than a dwelling which houses the target of the protest, or is believed to house them, or is owned by them. This, of course, is nonsense and would likely prohibit protests outside Leinster House or all department uh, buildings, or protests would have to be held maybe someplace in a field in Kildare or, or, or Leitrim. Um, the, the figure of 200 metres is way too high. People, people tend, no, no, I'm not saying litre, but <laughs> people tend to be uh, uh, poor at estimating the distance. 200 metres from Leinster House takes you physically into Merrion uh, Square Park onto the Trinity campus. If you are in the canteen, 200 metres takes you uh, possibly onto uh, Stevens Green. So that might need to be looked at somewhere maybe between 20 and 50 metres would be a much more appropriate, I think. Um, so the bill needs quite a lot of work. I would like to see tighter uh, provisions uh, and protections for the right to assembly and uh, the freedom of speech included within the bill, whilst also criminalising the behaviour uh, which we are all condemned or threatened behaviour directly uh, at individuals and their families. Um, in relation to our SIPO returns, I don't know, but I, did, I've, I haven't put down my home address. I, or I, I've, I told them I can't put down my home address because I foster children. And I don't want my, the children that I foster to be, uh, to be uh, in, in, in an unsafe space. And some of the children, I've had some of those parents writing to me here, and even at my, other, at my office address. So my personal home is not on my support returns, and I've told them why I can't have it on my support returns while I'm fostering. So, you know, I'm trying to protect the children. Nothing to do with Sharon Kyogen and where she lives. It, it, it's immaterial as far as the public uh, is concerned. The children that I take care of are more important to me than uh, any protester. If they want to come and protest, they can protest outside my office. I've already had it burned down. So you can knock yourself out if you want to uh, uh, come and protest at my office. Um, so I do believe in free protest. I do believe in, in the right to people to protest. But I think the family home needs to be off the, off the, off the market. Thank you. Thank you very much.